Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the 20th episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now, today my friends, we are going to be taking on the Wall of Flesh. That is the end goal to get ourselves into hard mode and uh, yeah, take down the Wall of Flesh and get ourselves something epic. Hopefully, we're going to get ourselves either a Ranger Emblem or the Clockwork Assault Rifle first time. Now, as you can see, what we have here is the recipe for Hellfire Arrows, which for the longest time, I'm pretty sure didn't have a crafting recipe, but in one of the... Recent updates, I don't know whether it was like the main 1.3 update or whatever. Uh, Hellfire arrows are craftable, so we can get 100 wooden arrows plus a Hellstone bar equals Hellfire arrows. I imagine these things are going to be very, very good in terms of taking down the little eater dudes, perhaps. So, we are going to be going ahead and making some of those bad boys. So, let's go and uh, head over this way. Let's get ourselves a full stack of arrows. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. Alright, and we are going to make ourselves a bunch of Hellfire Arrows, because why not? Can we do them here? Yes, we can. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, sweet. So we've got a full stack of Hellfire Arrows, and then as well as that, we've got ourselves Wooden Arrows, should we wind up wanting to use that. I'm just going to chuck that one, because it's by itself. Why not? And we also want to go and buy ourselves some bullets real quick. Uh, let's get ourselves up to a stack, maybe. So 400 and something, 439. Will bring us up to a stack exactly, I do believe. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So, what else have we got? We've got stars for the star cannon, which does 72 damage. So, we've got 22 of those. That should do a decent amount of damage against the eater dudes at the very start, which should be, you know, pretty effective. I don't see a reason why it shouldn't be effective. So, what else have we got going on here? We should have ourselves a bunch of other stuff. We've got day bloom in here. Uh, in here, we have ourselves a whole bunch of potion ingredients. Let's go and grab these out real quick. And let's see if we can't make ourselves something. Wait, where do we put the... Oh, it's up there. Okay, fair enough. Right, can we do something here? We've got ourselves regen potions. That will definitely do. Swiftness potion. Again, that will definitely do. Uh, archery potion. Fantastic. That's exactly what I need, pretty much. We've got Jester's arrows. I think I'll opt instead for the Fallen Stars for the Star Cannon for this one, as I was mentioning. Uh, Obsidian skin might come in useful for, you know, in case we run out of area to walk on, you know, that would be rather sucky. So, yes. Just uh, just so we know what's in each of the chests. We'll go ahead, we'll pick up and uh, see what's in each of the shadow chests, okay? So, there were two around here. There's one right there. Uh, was there one in this building as well? Uh, no? Must be, must be up to the left then. Okay, cool. I know there's one down there, by the way. I haven't, I haven't forgotten about it. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Okay, fantastic. Ha! Boom! Dead! Uh, and you can't come through platforms, right? Good. Right, flame lash. Don't really need it. Boom. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Don't do it. You got a, you got a life worth living if you don't kill me, okay? But he did. He tried to kill me, so he failed. Lol. Ugh. Dead. 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 Come on. Come on there, brother. Hello. Ah, oh, you're so funny. You think you're trying to get... Get out of here, bro. Dude, this is ridiculous. I don't have the defense. Dark Lance. Interesting. Come on. Take him out of the game. Take him out of the game. Nope. Darn it. All right, let's have that back then. Uh, lost... Wait, what was that? Lost hopes of what? I don't even know, man. Dude, these bats. I'm telling you, man. They're annoying. They just keep getting in your damn way. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey, I just remembered as well. I've got bee nades as well. Dude, we should have the wall of flesh taken down at its first... Like, first try. That There should be no reason at all why we shouldn't be able to do this. Unless I run out of platform and I wind up getting caught and stuff. That's the only reason I could foresee us failing the Wall of Flesh fight first time. Okay. Get Gosh darn it. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Health. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Right. I do want to make my way down just a little bit. The more area we have to shoot, the better it is. Dead. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Do you mind there, sir? I am trying to kill you and stuff. Wait, is he dead? Nope, not yet. He will be in a moment, though. Oh, I'll tell you what. Aiming with the Phoenix Blaster while those guys are flying around is kind of difficult. I imagine it's even more difficult when it's a freaking bat, you know? Because they haven't got a lot of hitbox, do they? <laughs> kind of small. <laughs> Oh dear. Alrighty guys, so I am going to go ahead and continue making this large bridge system. And yeah, once we've run out of blocks, or I feel like I've got this place to a good place, you know, where we can run and not die a whole bunch, then yeah, I'll bring you guys back. And if I find more shadow chests, of course, again, I'll bring you guys back so we can see what's in them, okay? So yeah, let's get on with it, folks. 
Alrighty uh, you guys, check it out. Found ourselves another shadow chest. We're still on our way to getting this bridge thing done. I'm about three quarters of the way through the world now. From the center, that is. Uh, that good jerk bat! I hate bats so much. I really hate bats. Can they all, like, go to hell, please? Oh, wait, get it. Ah, <laughs> they're already in hell. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hell jokes. That's what I'm resorting to now. God, God damn it! These guys are so difficult to avoid and they do so much damage. It's almost ridiculous. Like, I almost feel like they're a bit too OP for pre-hard mode, expert mode. But maybe that's just me. Oh, or maybe I'm just being salty. Oh, you there. You that. You, that. you leave me alone. And you, you that. You, that. Come on, man. Come on, bro. You see, this is where the boomstick comes into its own. It really does. Because it doesn't, you don't really need to aim it that much. It just spreads and kills a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Alrighty, well, whatever the case may be, we're making a decent amount of progress on this thing. So, we're just going to keep going, folks. Alright guys, so here we are back at the surface. Now, as you can see down here, I've made a bridge pretty much for the entirety of the right hand side of the map. Minus a small little portion here, and that's because I've actually run out of stone, like entirely. More than one and a half stacks of stone were used there, so more than 1500 blocks craziness. I hope that's going to be enough to take down the wall of flesh anyway. So, we've got ourselves two guy voodoo dolls, so any, even if we don't take him down first time, we can do it again. And check this out, we even managed to obtain a cascade, which is one of the rarer weapons you can get from hell. But uh, obviously, we're not going to be using any of this stuff here, so we're just going to go and sell it all. So, Mr. Demolitionist, you are going to be the proud new owner of all these weapons. There you go, buddy. There you go. It's all yours, budski. Alright, cool. So, are we just about ready to give this thing our first go? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking maybe we could get a couple of heart lanterns down there, maybe just for a tiny bit of additional regeneration. What do you guys think? I have no idea. Well, we'll, we'll see anyway. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves out an iron bar. We're going to head down here real quick, make ourselves a little bit more in the chains department. And then, of course, we can make ourselves a couple of these bad boys. And, yeah, we have ourselves slightly more health regen. I was also considering... Hmm. Here's the thing. I was also considering maybe putting some uh, honey down, like random honey... Uh, random honey piles or random honey dips, I guess, for even more health regeneration. But I don't know if we need to go quite that far. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, in terms of our accessories, we have ourselves the Guarding Hive Pack, Obsidian Shield, Frostbark Boots, Horseshoe Balloon, and of course the Sweetheart Necklace. All of which should be enough to take him down, I hope. So, yeah. Magma Stone. Is that only melee hit? Uh, inflicts fire damage on attack. Huh. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, I'll keep with the hive pack anyway. So if we get hurt, a bunch of bees will be released. And said bees will do a whole bunch of damage, okay? I'm kind of liking the sound of that. Okay, so let's head over to the far right-hand side. The far reaches of the hell realms. We will go ahead and we will kill the guide. And he will have a rocking good time in hell and death and stuff. This has just turned into a very dark episode, huh? <laughs> Oh dear. Hey, you there. Don't try it on, Sonny. Don't try it on. Hey, you just got destroyed, lol. Okay, so, going over here, we have ourselves all of these buff potions, all of which should be enough to take him down, I'm hoping. I'll tell you, let's go and put one of these bad boys down there. This guy is, like, full-on stalking me. Hey, buddy. Come on in. Ha! Ha! Dead. Lol. Ha! Can't take me down, son. And we'll put one there. I mean, that's all we have in terms of heart lanterns, unfortunately. We haven't got, like, a large surplus of those bad boys just yet. It would be awesome if we did, of course, but, you know, can't have everything in the world, can you? You can also see I've placed down a whole bunch of campfires in an attempt to get myself a whole bunch more regeneration. So, yeah. I'm hoping that our health regeneration isn't going to be an issue. And I'm also hoping that I've placed down enough platforms to the point where we won't run out. Because if we run out of platforms, then, boy... Are we, uh, are we screwed or are we screwed? Yes. Right. There we go. Uh, a bunch of lava. Ha! Oh, God. And uh, now the mobs come. Of course they do. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Everybody get wrecked. Die! Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come on. Come on, bats. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I hate the bats. Like, in all caps. I hate the bats. They are the most pain in the ass kind of mob in the entire world. Like, I wouldn't be... Like, I wouldn't be saddened if they went extinct on this world, for real. There's such a Look at them! They're just coming out of nowhere, bro! What the hell? Go away! They do so much damage as well! 
I feel like this entire episode is just me complaining about how rubbish the freaking Hellbats are. But, you know, they are rubbish, so, you know, get off my back. All right. Come on! Can I please get full health, not have mobs around me, and then I can take down the wall of flesh? Come on! Come on, expert mode! All right, are you going to cease with the blooming mob spawning? Huh? Are you going to stop now? Okay, right. I think so. And uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. There's still a whole bunch of guys around here. There's still a whole bunch of guys around here. Come on, man! Get wrecked. All right, there you go. Done. All right, and now we use these bad boys. See how we do. We've got all these demons around. Come on, bean hates. There we go. Maybe we can start utilizing this stuff as well. Okay, we get... What just happened there, man? What the hell just happened there? Oh, man. This is... Uh... This is turning into a really salty episode, man. Those bats! With a start, okay. I was I was completely hunky dory and happy before I started this episode, but the bats have just driven me to insanity. They really have. <laughs> They're such a pain. They really are. Right now, if I'm correct in thinking, I'm pretty sure the wall of flesh will still be here. I do believe. Let's just have a look, though. I haven't even used the nurse. Dang it, I'm an idiot. Oh no, this is gonna go bad. All right. I'm going to buff it. Oh, no, no, no. Of course they are. Yeah, they've already started spawning in the goddamn bats. All right. Good. Come on, man. Where is he? He's... Oh, he's coming along. All right. Time to buff up. We have ourselves a few more stars from our star cannon to use. No. Go away. I am telling you right now. Go away. All right. Boom. Light. Let's see if we can't get something going here, folks. I am just so mad right now. I really am. Come on. There we go. Yep. Hellfire Arrow is doing a nice job. Good stuff. All right, time to get rid of the mini-map so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. All right, come on, boys. We don't have another chance at this. We only got another chance because he was quite a far way away from the surface or the center of the map. So, yeah, that's the only reason why we're able to continue this fight. He doesn't actually despawn uh, unless he, like, goes off the map, of course. And we're going to die again, 100%. We are going to die again. We're going to die again. We're going to die again. I could just feel it. I could feel it coming. What do you guys think? Oh, there we go. That's a whole bunch of my health gone. Nope, nope, we're dead, 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 we're dead! <laughs> Come on! I did all this work, bro! Alright guys, so we've got a whole bunch of buffs again. Heart reach, we got regen this time, we got iron skin this time. This is probably the most important one that we should have had, to be honest, which we didn't have. So yeah, that's my own bad. But as you can see, I am not giving up by any stretch of the imagination. Unfortunately, we don't have any ammo for my star cannon. This is a problem. I would have really liked for there to be some ammo for this bad boy, but there just isn't. So, as a bit of a replacement, we are going to make ourselves a whole bunch of bee nades, which involves the use of grenades and bee wax. So, if we head down here, here we go, I can now make myself 99 bee nades. Amazing. There we go. All right, this should do a whole bunch of damage. I've also reforged a couple of these things. For example, this is now armored. Uh, this is now warding. We now have 27 defense by default. Of course, that is going to be brought up to 35 with the introduction of the iron skin potion. And I've just realized something. If I make myself some sort of food source, I don't have any fish. Dang it. Okay, right. No fish means I can't make any, like, potion things, the food stuffs. Okay, wait, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I just had a different idea. Doesn't this guy sell the marshmallow? Yeah, he does. Put it on a stick and roast it over a campfire. Ah, oh, okay, we might just have to do that. Okay, so what do I do now? There we go. Marshmallow on a stick. Right, I need to go up to a campfire. Uh, campfire? Oh, there's one up here. Okay, so if I just go up here and then wait, is this gonna, this should turn it into like cooked marshmallow, right? I would assume so anyway. Huh. Alright, let's see. Aha! There we go. Cooked marshmallow. Minor improvements to all stats. <laughs> Sweet! Alright, let's get ourselves a whole bunch of these bad boys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Gotta be quick about this one. We've got the guy voodoo doll. Let's just get straight on with it. And let's buff up. The wall of flesh has indeed woken. And now we've got all of these bad boys. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Right, we'll start off with the bean age. Just go absolutely ham bony. Don't even stop throwing them. I'm literally just going to throw these like a madman. I am the bee master, and that is how it is going to go. Ah, yeah, this is how we do it. Oh, look at the amount of damage they're doing. Look at 
the hell? All right, I'm using the entire stack on this bad boy as well. So, uh, you know, there's just there's just some times in life where you've just got to say, do you know what? I'm the bee master, and as a result, this is just how it goes, okay? So, yeah. Alrighty, so, let's go and get this bad boy. Oh, let's go. Look at that, 3,000 health. Jeez, man. I could do an Is It Possible episode with the bee nade against this thing, but we don't need to, because clearly, it is enough to take him down. I mean, just look at this. He's got 2,700 health, but we should not get too far ahead of ourselves, my friends. He is still very much capable of taking my butt out of the game. So, here we go. He has now got 2,200 health, and the bad thing about him is uh, he can he can respawn his eater dude. So, we need to be very much aware of that and try to avoid his attacks at all costs. So, here we go. Here we go. Leech is in the game. All right, come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Bat, you're not helping the cause there, buddy. All right, 1,400 health. Can we do this? Can we do this before we run out of ledge? I really hope so. 1,100. 9,000. Oh, 9,900. 600. Come on! Come on! Come on! And yes! <laughs> I won't lie to you guys. I probably cut out what I did after the first fail. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I raged. Really badly. Like, really badly. Like, I was so close to swearing. Like, let's just put it like that. So, yeah, I just decided to cut it all out. So, yes. Right. Now, there we go. We've got hard mode enemy spawning in already. Right, what's going on here? Uh, no sign of... Oh, the crimson is just over there, man. Oh, that isn't cool. Any second now, these guys are about to evict themselves. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, this is even more terrible. All right, let's have ourselves a sixth accessory slot there. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've got the pwn hammer. We've got a sorcerer emblem and a laser rifle. If we were a mage, I would be the happiest guy in the entire world right now. But uh, we are not a mage. And alas, I am not the happiest guy in the world right now. I'll take the three gold, though. That's kind of nice. <laughs> nice one. All right. And yeah, I've, I've pretty much run out of money entirely at this point. Right, I'm not going to sell this thing because we can use this thing for an Avenger emblem or something like that later down the line. So I'm going to go and put that in my accessories chest. But ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially in hard mode and uh, yeah oh a bunch of stars I could pick up fantastic okay so the next thing I want to use my star cannon for would probably be the destroyer considering the destroyer has many many segments and I do believe that the fallen stars infinitely pierce I imagine the star cannon could prove to be a very worthy adversary against the destroyer okay so Yes, I, uh, I'm feeling good about that prospect. So I'm going to go ahead every now and again. And, well, but when it becomes nighttime anyway, as you can see, it's just about to become daytime. So we've got to be quick about it before any of these despawn. Uh, any more for any more? Uh, yep, there we go. All right, daytime has just rolled around and I've run out of time. Okay. Fantastic. Right, we've got 10 stars out of it though. And like I said, if we just keep doing like random sweeps during the night, we should be able to pick up a bunch of fallen stars and get some cool stuff going that way. But... Ladies and gentlemen, we took down the wall flesh mostly with B nades. Like two thirds of his entire health was taken down with B nades, which is quite ridiculous if you think about it. Like B nades are absolutely incredible. I would strongly, strongly advise you go ahead and craft them and use them against the wall of flesh. Very, very worthy weapon indeed. And they're pretty easy to craft. All you got to do is kill the queen bee and use the bee wax if you have any spare bee wax from the queen bee when you kill her. And you can just get some nades and then convert it all into bee nades. So, for example, I've got 39 more bee wax there. I could probably go ahead and buy some more. Or make some more, even. I think that would be pretty useful, even in hard mode. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need quite that much. There we go. All right, I'm going to make some more just as a bit of a, yeah, why not <laughs> kind of deal. So, there we go. 37 of the bad boys. And, yeah, everything here should do a reasonable job at the very least of taking down hard mode enemies at the start. Obviously we need to start trying to get ourselves some cool weapons, maybe try to get the Daedalus Stormbow, that would be really really awesome. Uh, maybe some other stuff, the Ice Bow or the Marrow would be kind of nice to get potentially. Uh, what other things are there? I mean there's plenty of, plenty of other Ranger weapons you can get. The Uzi of course we can get that, the Gatligator from the Travelling Merchant, if we're extremely lucky we could get that. So yeah, there's lots of things we can go for in this, uh, in this hard mode thing, but I think that the next thing I want to try and do is maybe try and take down Old One's army, as I mentioned in the last episode. So, yeah. Maybe we'll give it a go in the next episode. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see, my friends. But anyways, on that note, it's time to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And of course, you can subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my future Terraria content. Tune in tomorrow again at 4pm BST for the next 
well, tomorrow is going to be the Calamity playthrough. So, yeah, like I said, alternated between the two. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, folks. Appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys later.